Thank you for joining us today. My name is Dan Kudinovich and I'm a practice director with Apex IT. We're all here today to get some insight into the Oracle Sales Cloud and these fast casts were created to quickly show you some tools native to the Sales Cloud that can help your sales teams perform better. From initially creating a territory to adjusting it to managing the quota for the territory based on real-time data, we'll show you how it all can be done in the Oracle Sales Cloud. Today, we'll be demonstrating the territory management module. So for our agenda, we'll briefly introduce you to Apex IT. And again, we're highlighting that this is our second series of fast casts, where our focus is on extending the application all within the same cloud. Today, we'll showcase some of the benefits of using the territory management functionality. We'll present a day in the life of scenario in our demonstration today. And we'll go ahead and answer your questions afterwards. Now, Apex IT is an Oracle Platinum partner and we participate in the CRM Invested Partner Community. Now, this is an invite-only community that gives us access to the best and brightest of Oracle's product strategy and product development teams and trainings that aren't publicly available. So Oracle is investing in us, we're investing in Oracle, and because of our relationship and our CRM implementation successes, uh, we receive the Specialized Partner of the Year for Customer Relationship Management in North America um, and that's like the Oscars of the CRM world at Oracle. And you can see below that we support a variety of other Oracle CRM platforms. Now here's our NASCAR logo slide. Since 1997 we've had over 1250 engagements in a variety of different industries and we have a lot of CRM experience as you can see. And we think a lot about customer relationship management and that led us to do some thinking about Oracle Sales Cloud and why it's such a differentiator to the marketplace. Now, this slide might look a little busy, but let's boil it down simply. Oracle Sales Cloud is an all-encompassing CRM solution that provides a variety of ways to interact with it, that has a variety of functionality all in one cloud and not through other third parties, with integrations to social media, and has flexible deployment options. So without further ado, let's take a peek at the Oracle Sales Cloud Territory Management Module. So I'm logged in as a sales operations manager and it's my goal to oversee business activities and processes that allow for the sales organization to run effectively and efficiently while supporting our overall business strategies and objectives. So in order to do so, I have the ability to configure my home page to display the information that pertains to me specifically or to uh, my roles and responsibilities. Now here you can see a variety of reports and drillable tasks, corporate updates, and again this is all configurable meaning the most important information uh, that your end users want uh, can be seen visibly at the moment they log in. You'll also see here uh, the Oracle social network at the top of the page and this gives you the avail availability to select exactly what information you want to see by following people or accounts or much much more. Now this is a topic for another fast cast. Now if you look here on the top of the welcome page you have a variety of quick links that can take you to your most commonly accessed pages in the system. So selecting the manage territories button it'll take you to a page where you can now see both acti active territories as well as current territory proposals. So in the territories table, you see the existing territory structure and you have the availability and visibility from your own territory. You have the visibility from your own territory on down. Your visibility is only read access to your territory, but you have full access to making changes to all the territories below it. Now, territory management also provides many metrics that are out of the box that help you make better and more informed business decisions. Now these metrics provide you with some key information about your territory such as the current pipeline and the future market potential within the territory to help you gain the insight on the territory's performance and also to perform what if analysis for future realignments. Now one of the two territory models uh, that the sales operations manager has in mind for the overlay, overlay sales organization is based on geography so that's one and then the other is based on a targeted industry type. Now, you can see how these two models are represented in the proposal here and perform some analysis to help you guide and decide which model would deliver the best results. So first we're going to take a look at the territory based on geography in our territory realignment proposal. Now as you can see here, 
the resulting metrics that include closed revenue, open revenue, and total market potential for each territory. Now, since this overlay sales organization will be selling a new line of servers that has been introduced, there's really no historical data to help in the sales planning process. However, though, uh, you've got revenue opportunities that have been generated by the sales predictor engine uh, for the new server line, which enables you to perform this analysis based on the same set of planning assumptions specified in the prediction rules. Now, this data is captured in the total market potential metric. Now, you can view the total market potential across the geography model and industry model to see how well they are distributed. So in viewing the graph, you can see that there's an imbalance in the market potential across the three geo-based territories. With the West region territory, it's got a specifically or significantly higher potential for the new servers than its peers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a second territory model and we're going to go by industry type. <clears throat> now the market potential seems to be more balanced in the industry based model. So this is the model that ultimately we're going to decide to use. So while there are many important factors that may have to be taken into account in making this type of decision, it's clear from the analysis we just did that the industry based model is more equitable and balanced in terms of market potential that exists within each of the territories. So in the territory management module, you can see that the, uh, or you can also ask the system to validate the model before pushing any changes into a live production environment. And just to cover your bases, you've got the ability to do a sanity check and make sure that the model is valid and it doesn't have any gaps or overlaps in coverage. So we're going to hit the validate territory function to see if it can detect any gaps or overlaps in territory coverage. And seeing as there are none, we're now ready to activate the proposal and you simply do so by selecting the activate button. Now as we recap, we wanted to focus on a couple of specifics about the Oracle Sales Cloud territory management functionality. Uh, number one, you can start out by building a territory plan that's developed using real live data without impacting the active territory. And it can also automatically detect gaps and overlaps in territory coverage. Uh, you also have real-time territory metrics and embedded analytics to assess effectiveness of these territories. And this is uh, extensible all within the Oracle Sales Cloud, keeping it all in one cloud and not through additional non-native third parties. So we hope you've enjoyed your glimpse of the Oracle Sales Cloud and specifically today, its territory functionality. Now here are a few additional dates of some upcoming fast casts. And since you registered for this one, we'll get those details out to you for future fast casts. And now we've got some time for Q&A, and I've got with me a solution consultant, and together we'll do our best to answer your questions. And if we can't today, we'll work with you offline to get the answers for you.